All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. I hope you guys are doing well. Man, it is pouring outside. On the day of the elections, we're getting a massive storm. And, you know, uh, Mark Taylor called for the red tsunami, okay, during the elections uh, of Republicans winning uh, the House and the Senate, you know, and God, it was it God that brought the storm or was it the elites that brought the storm? Some people are saying it, it was, you know, the elites that are bringing the storm manufactured so people can stay home, but it's, you know, the Republicans aren't staying home. The Democrats might stay home. Republicans aren't staying home. They know this is for their lives, right? So, and at least that's what they've been, you know, since the last, you know, maybe since summer, Mark Taylor and others, Hank, Hank uh, Cannon and, and others have been preaching this as this is your life is on the line, okay? And other prophets and prophetess as well, this is your life on the line. It doesn't matter what type of storm it is. You better get out there and you better make your your name heard, right? Okay, so um, so the Republicans aren't staying home regardless. So if the storm, if they thought the storm was going to hurt the Republicans, they got something coming for them because the storm is going to keep the Democrats at home because the Democrats are winning in all of the mainstream polls. Okay, so all of the mainstream polls have the Democrats up mostly eight points or seven points. But yet we have storms and many of the Democrats are going to stay home. <laughs> the Republicans are going to see the polls and they're going to realize they need to get out and go vote. And that's how the and that could be the way the tsunami happens. All the Democrats stay home because of the storms on the East Coast and the, and the Midwest and the South. They just stay home because they like I'm up. I'm up. Eight, we're up eight points. OK, or eight up eight percent. As they think, because the mainstream media puts out fake numbers, looks like they did for the elections, and then all of a sudden, election results come in, and you know the Democrats might be up early, and then because that's how they want it, and then all of a sudden it turns red, and then the next state up early, Democrats are up early, and then it turns red. Next state up, and they're like, "What's going on?" Just like they did for the elect the, the elections. Remember when Hillary is up early, and then all of a sudden here comes a red wave. <laughs> And and Trump wins that state. Trump wins this day. Trump wins this day. Trump wins this day. Like everybody's like, what's going on? Okay, so that's probably what's going to happen again. That's what we're hoping to happen, right? We're hoping for a red tsunami because it's going to change. It's going to shift and change our lives forever. And it's also going to bring our wealth transfer, in my opinion, because now Trump's not going to have to battle with the liberals who want a new world order. He's going to have his people in there in the House and in Congress, and he's going to be able to pass and 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 lift that value and, and command Iraq to lift the value. And Iraq's not going to be able to lean on their liberal friends that are corrupt and, and, and fight for them because that's what's been going on. Okay, that's what's been going on. I was sitting here yesterday before I made that video on my main channel. Yesterday I was sitting here, man, and and I was like, wait a minute. The reason why these fools over there have not lifted that value is because they have liberal people in that Congress that are fighting for them to stay corrupt. That's how important this submit this, this midterm election is if you guys want your wealth. Okay? And some of you liberals said hey man I'm, I'm a liberal but you are absolutely correct okay there's there's people in congress that have fought against the raising of that value if they're gone guess what Don't, that they're gonna have to raise that value point blank and simple okay and it's also also we see a red tsunami is gonna put the fear of god into many of these countries that are doing illegal activities and not showing the, their true values and fair values because right now they they can stay the way they are because the liberals are helping them and are fighting for them to stay corrupt zimbabwe and all these other countries are corrupt because we have liberals in our congress that are corrupt and there are republicans as well but guess what happens if you get a red tsunami those republicans will will, will shape up immediately because they're going to be the rotten apples that are going to be taken out right so that's why we've been waiting and waiting and waiting it's because liberal congress have met people in the house and senate are corrupt and they have kept 
the wealth from the people because their agenda is the new world order and a new world order agenda is not to enrich people it's to enslave people and chip them and open the borders it's a globalist agenda why would they give us wealth if they want us chipped and slaved and, and under a new world order? It goes against their agenda. It goes against Barack Obama's agenda. It goes against Hillary Clinton's agenda. So that's why we have not seen these things. I was just thinking about it yesterday. I was like, what is the reason? Why haven't we seen this? And I'm like, that's it. It's because they, because these countries have liberal friends in that Congress that are fighting to keep them, to keep their corruption going. And when Donald Trump gets the House and the Senate in a red tsunami, those people are going to fear, they, may, they might even quit the governments in many, you might see many politicians in many countries quit when if, if they see a red tsunami because they all believe the Democrats are going to win the House and, and the Senate. So you people better get out there and, and, and vote or and, and encourage the, your Republican sides to vote because many of you guys listen to me are Republicans, okay? You better not stay home if you're eligible to vote, okay? So because... People around the world, including China, Zimbabwe, Iraq, Iran, and others, and Russia, they believe that the liberals are going to win because the polls, all the polls say that the liberals are winning. So that's why they haven't lifted their values. That's why they haven't done anything. But as soon as they realize, if we get the red tsunami, if the prophecy comes to pass today and we get the red tsunami, it's already storming here where I'm at. It's storming. On election day, red tsunami prophecy, and we're getting a major storm right now. Okay, so what are, what are the coincidence of that? But if we see a if this thing turns red and we control the house, and, and I said we, I, I'm not, I'm not Republican. So, but if Donald Trump controls the house and the Senate fully, to be able to rule with an iron fist. You're going to see all these countries go crazy. They're going to absolutely go crazy and be scared out of their minds. And many of them will shape it up overnight. Within 48 hours, 72 hours, within the, by, the, by, by January 1, many of these countries will straighten out and they will remove all of their corruptions and everything and they will show their true values. They will do all the things that they were supposed to do in the beginning instead of continuing to delay and delay and delay. This is why God keeps saying that the delays are over because when this shift happens of a red tsunami, God willing, that's when this that's when the delays are going to be broken because these countries are no longer going to be able to sit under liberal corruption. That, I was trying to figure this out yesterday. I was like, how? Why is God talking about a shift and then a de, and then a breaking of delay and and breakthroughs? Why is that, po how is that possible? Unless we have liberals in the Congress that have been aiding and, and have been secretly helping these countries that we've been begging for years to show their true value. There you go. So we got some enemies in the Congress. We have enemies in our White House in our house and senate and god is tired of it and god said i'm bringing this red tsunami okay according to the prophecy of of uh mark taylor and uh, and hank kennan okay so it's not my prophecy is they, they're the ones that said it it's all over youtube you can find them the, you know their prophecy on that i'm just believing in that because we have um you know we have uh prophetess alana saying that there's a sh major shift coming and a breakthrough and a break of delays. So there's something happening because if that shift is the red tsunami and everything turns red, then guess what? We're going to see other we're going to see all these countries that were that that were staying the way they were in corruption, they're going they're going to change. They're going to they're going to get scared out of their mind. God is going to put fear in them. Because now everything is red. And Donald Trump's gonna be able to rule with an iron fist. And these countries that were that that have been corrupt 
and and been protected by liberals in our government, our own government, will no longer have that protection. Now that makes perfect sense. And I was thinking about it yesterday. I was like, there's how are these countries still getting away with all the corruption and getting away with not showing their true values as we've been begging them for years? And and I, I was just sitting there, I was like, it's because we have traitors in Congress. We have the liberals do not want us to have the wealth. So they have been funding the terrorism, funding the the uh, corrupt governments, fighting against Trump and, and others to keep the corruptions going longer and longer and longer. And so what Trump probably decided to do was, you know what, I'm just going to wait for the midterm elections and, and I'll do. And then once we get once we get the House and Senate under my control, then I will just create I, I will bring the pain on these people and everybody around the world. And you, they will show that everybody will show their true values, and we'll and we'll we'll unleash the secrets of the traitors. We'll unleash everything that we need to unleash about the space, the moon, the stars, the UFOs. We'll release all the all the corruption. We will release all of the medical records and all of the uh, the, the you know the diseases and all their cures. We're gonna just release everything after we take over the Congress. That's why it's probably, that's why we probably haven't seen anything is because Donald Trump's like, you know what, let's just take over Congress. And if we can do that, I will I will just release everything for you guys. Okay, I'll release the wealth for my people in America. I will release everything. So I was thinking about that yesterday before I did my video on the main channel. So here we are, it's storming. It's a major storm outside where I'm at. And uh, today is supposed to be red tsunami, okay? And there's a massive storm outside. Co not a coincidence. I mean, there was storm yesterday as well to get it started. And today, probably going to be an even bigger one that doesn't stop you guys. That's not going to stop the Republicans from voting because all the polls say that they're losing. So they're going to rush. The Republicans are going to rush to the polls to make sure they don't lose. And the Democrats, many Democrats are going to stay home because there's a storm and they believe that they're up eight, nine percent. So they don't have to go vote. And that is and that's what probably going to cause the red tsunami. OK, so let's see what happens right later today. I will come back and uh, we'll see later today who wins. OK, so and, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm, I you know for me personally, may the best people that are going to help. America and our president and release our wealth and release uh, all the, you know, the secrets and the release all the things that we need to do. May the best people for Donald Trump and God and our nation win, regardless of who they are. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. And uh, if there's a red tsunami, that's fine. If there if there's mixed of blue and red, may they all be for our president and God and may they all be for America to release the things that are going to make us, uh, you know, bring our wealth and bring all the things that we've been waiting for, okay, all our healings and, and medical disease uh, cures and things like that. May they, may those people be that are elected be f all for that in Yeshua's mighty name. That's what I pray for, okay? So that's it. There you go. Let's, I'll be back tonight, okay, to do that. I will do day six of the uh, prayer as well, um, break the system of the mind. And uh, a major shift. We're we're expecting and we're hoping for a massive shift tonight. Okay, and uh, so let's come back and uh, this is gonna be exciting. I know some of you guys are nervous because this could change the history of America here. This will change the history of America. If the Democrats win the House and Senate, we're in huge trouble in America, okay? If the Republicans win, we are going to see our wealth transfer. We're going to see our, uh, you know, we're gonna see the cure for diseases. We're gonna see all the secrets revealed, most of them, not all of them, because we can't really reveal everything. But we're gonna have a different life for at least uh, while Donald Trump and maybe another person is in office, it's going to buy us time. If the Republic, if the Democrats win, we're in big trouble, guys. Girls, <laughs> we're in big trouble because it could cause Donald Trump not to run uh, again. 
in 2020, right? If the, if the uh, Democrats take the House and Senate, he's not gonna be able to get nothing done in my opinion. So he might not even run and we're gonna be in big trouble, okay? Um, so let's find out what happens. This is exciting either way. It's gonna be exciting and uh, good versus evil. Uh, and uh, I'm excited. God, God is your will. Whatever happens is your will. I'm praising you regardless because I know you're real. And I, have, and I have my personal relationship with you. And uh, and I know all of the good things that you have done for me in my life. So I'm going to praise you regardless of the results. And you should was mighty name. Um, and that's it. So that's it, guys. See you guys tonight. It's going to be a historic night regardless of what happens. Peace out. Eyes open.